Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jerson, today we are back with another Power World video as we continue to build our first base, our small base, you know, the base that we're learning all the mechanics, all the way to build and how to make an area look very aesthetic and very pleasing and using PALs that the areas and the buildings that we're making they can use them, right? And that's the idea. So today we are gonna be working on our ranch barn bill. And I'm excited for this one because I really wanted a structure. I really wanted something that looked like a barn, but also that we can put the ranch inside so we can see the animals going in and out and going to the side. And I, it's just, you know, visually in my head, I really wanted something special and something that will continue to make this area really stand out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain the best way that I can, my process, my thinking, and you know, and everything that went through, right? I, I do took a lot of chunks out. Thank you so much for everybody for your feedback in all the comments. I hope this video is more to the liking uh, so all of you can enjoy. Okay. So the first thing that we're doing, you know, uh, if you're building in this area, you know, so I was just trying to center as much as I can to kind of like, I want the entrance of the mine to kind of face the center of the, of the town, of the village that we're building, right? Of the base camp. But, you know, if you build this, this somewhere else, you know, then just place it wherever you want this building to be. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I set the foundation. I really want it to be a little bit higher. And I know I want one windows all the way around. So the next thing is, I know when I'm going to put the ranch, it's going to be to the, towards the side, right? And I know I want it to be under the roof. Now, I did learn that, and you're going to see it uh, once we get to that point, that the branch, if you do it like this, and you put the flooring and you put all that stuff, you really can't place the branch when the roof is on top, right? And so that took me a moment, and you're going to see that we actually going to have to figure that out. Okay, so now the other thing over here, as you can see, I can't extend the roof anymore because it's telling me that it needs support. And that took me a moment to understand what they meant by that, like it needs support. So you can only extend so much one direction. So if you want to do an attachment to the top of the roof, what we're gonna have to do is work from the other side and then bring the roof to mid in the middle and then you don't need the support. Now, something that I saw that I needed to do is I needed to get the right measurements for the ranch, right? So here's the ranch. Now, it's set on the floor right over here. I, I first, I thought maybe I needed to put it on the floor, but I really wanted to be set on top. So I'm using this flooring right here as measurements. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna have to start all over again and just to kind of get the right measurement. So I kind of imagine where I want the ranch to be. So if you're approaching this bill and you started right now, you started watching, right? And you're like, man, why you show me on the beginning? Well, it's just to show you that sometimes there's a lot of trial and error. And I don't want you to give up, you know? I never want you to give up on your bills, on what you're trying to do in your base camp. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm trying to see how if this entrance will fit because I really want the ranch to be very close to the entrance of this door. So I'm doing the best that I can so I can kind of match this and then put some steps and I'm imagining that the animals are gonna work this way. Now, all of this will change, okay? All of this is gonna change. We're gonna elevate this. But for now, we are removing and restructuring this as you can see. So we extend it again one more time. We're doing our base flooring and the house and the barn is gonna go through a couple changes, you know? So make sure that you are sticking around uh, so you're watching this so you know exactly how everything is gonna look at the end. But now, I will say that if you're watching this, and you see something that you like at a certain point, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, this looks actually really cool. Then, you know, copy that idea, take a screenshot, save it, because, you know, we, we're gonna go through a few prototypes of the, the build. Okay, so as you can see here, you see it, you see how I can go at more roof from one direction, but if you extend the floor, pull the wall and bring the roof towards the middle, bam. It's all attached and now we have this amazing long cover roof area. Okay, so as you can see, I'm cleaning the floor once again. I'm trying to get the right idea here because this is where the ranch is gonna go. So I, I, I want it to something that feel like more like a little ranch, uh, enclosed fence. Of course, we don't have a specific fence, not just yet. So. So, I mean, I'm using like the dividers here, those little triangles to make it feel kind of nice. So, okay, so now I'm gonna try to put the ranch. And here you see, 
it won't let me put it. And we know we got the right measurements, right? We got the right measurements. We know we can put this. So I was like, oh man, this is not gonna work. So let me try, maybe because I'm too low, maybe there's something in the floor. So what I'm gonna do is gonna add all the flooring. And then once I finish adding the flooring, it's gonna happen the same thing once again. It doesn't let you add the wrench just like this. Now, if you're watching this and if you know that if we can do this or not, maybe I was doing something wrong, please let me know down in the comments below if there's another trick. So the only way that I could do this was, I know we can fit the wrench. So I was like, okay, so see, you see how it, now we can add the wrench and it's all blue and all nice. So I was like, okay, so we're gonna add the wrench. We took the roof, we're gonna add the wrench and now then we're gonna add all the roofing all back up and then it works nicely. Now, I will say once again that, you know, all the builds that I try to do, I do try to make it functional with all the PALs that I'm using on my base. Now, the main trick about this is that all the PALs are either small or medium size. So if you're doing this and you have a big pile that and it may not fit, then you may have to make this build bigger, right? Uh, I know that was one of the main questions that I had on my previous video of the of the balcony, uh, the garden in the uh, in the terrace. But, you know, I'm using specific type of piles that I really like aesthetically and they're small, right? So they do work. So as you can see, I added the wrench and already some of them are already starting to go in and it was such a cool feeling to see that. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to, let's work now on the barn side, right? Because we kind of got the ranch side next to it already kind of done. But we need to do now work on the barn. Now the barn was a little tricky to really get the right idea, the right vision, the right feel that I really wanted. So as you can see, at first I thought I, I wanted a low roof, you know, I wanted something a little more simple, a little more flat. But as I'm building this, slowly I noticed that <laughs> nothing is in the center, you know, because one of the things that I really want is, is one, it, to make it feel like a barn, I really wanted a big opening, right? So the opening right here, we're not gonna put a door, we're gonna keep it wide open like that because it just feels like, you know, when the barn's got the doors open, it kind of feels like that. So I, I, that's a feeling that I really wanted, you know? So I'm adding a couple more things on the side into, I'm thinking how I'm gonna handle this. So I'm adding a little platform over here, pl a platform over here, steps, just an idea and doing kind of like little placeholders of ideas that I know where people are gonna go in and out. As you can see, you saw the cow, you saw the cow going in, and going to the ranch is so cool. I really, I really love when you make bills like this and then they're functional, right? Now they 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 do take time uh, to practice and to get it right. Um, so, so you know, you know, don't be frustrated if some reason, you know, sometimes you may have to change piles, and if not, you gotta adjust the opening or the area or the height of the roof to specific piles that you may have. Okay, so now as you can see, you know, you you notice that nothing is was coming center, so now we needed to readjust. So we are gonna extend over here. Now we got the middle, we got the center, everything is extended. We got a better roofing. The roofing looks a lot better, but it still doesn't really look like a barn, you know, like like it doesn't have that feel that I really I'm looking for. So we're gonna tweak it. We're gonna keep working now. The great thing about this, if like I mentioned earlier, if you see a specific style of the a building that we're doing, you know. Hey, hey, copy it, take it, take a screenshot, pass it right over here and take that screenshot so you can kind of have it with you, you know? Because, you know, we're always gonna come up with different buildings and different ideas. That's something that I really wanna try. So depending on the base and the area, the aesthetic that we're trying to go for. But right now, this is what I'm going for. Kind of a little small style base camp, village feel in the mountains. So that's my goal. Okay, so we're working on the roof. We extended the house a little more, you know, just to get the right feeling. But now we still need to work on the roof. I really don't like what we have. I really need this to feel a little more like a barn. So this is a lot of trial and error pieces. So I did a lot more editing this time around, not showing all the mistakes and every single time that, that something went wrong. So, you know, it, it's a little more put together. So I hope this is a lot more better for a lot of you to see. But as you can see, I'm kind of extending the roof, trying to work on a different roof design. So how can I bring and give this, that shape on the top of the barn. So as you can see, um, part of that roofing was a little too long. It just, it wasn't gonna work. So the other thing that I was thinking of is like, okay, if that's not gonna work that way, maybe what I need to do is work on this other direction on the side of the roof, right? And I was trying that, but it, it was too small now, right? It's just way too far. It was too deep. So that was not gonna work. I was like, okay, so that's not gonna work. So what about if I extend 
the roof on the top, bring the roof down on the side like you see right here, and then add the sides. So now we're covering the sides over here, and then we're gonna add the wall, and then we're gonna add another roof pieces as you're gonna see in just a moment. And now that's starting to give it the shape of the barn that we're going after, right? And I really started to enjoy that. Okay, so as you can see over here now, that, that looks just a little better, right? It's looking better, it's shaping up. And one thing that I'm discovering when I'm playing power and building, you know, I'm telling you, it's a lot of trial and error. You know, this is, this is hours that you're not seeing that's edited, just trying to come up, practice runs, trying to come up with a design, you know, something that looks good, that looks pleasing, that fits the area, and also that is functional with all the pals, you know, and when I mean by functional, I will say it again, depending on the pals that you have, you may have to wash them and see how they interact. Are they going in? Are they not going in? Are they going out or not? Are they getting stuck? You know, it's something that you gotta pay attention but to me, I, I, I was paying attention and I was testing them out. Okay, so now you see the roofing, you see the shape. So we added we, we added more roof on the side. So now it, it, I really, this is actually coming out a lot more better now and it feels so much better. And I really like, look at that, look at that. It really looks like a barn and I'm so happy. And then we got like a little stable on the side. So something that I added is on the side of the door, as you can see, we added a stair so we can go to the second flooring, right? So the way I wanted to do this is, it's just very simple is we, I didn't do it from inside the barn because there was not an easy way to get in there unless you make it bigger. I didn't want to go any bigger, but on the side, of the house we had that door right so that's where we're gonna put the stairs and we're gonna go up to the second flooring and then we're gonna do something like we did with the garden terrace you know and and ah oh, man it just came out so good you know it's just it gives you more more space so you can just elaborate on this idea okay so over here i felt like it was a little empty and I don't know, I just felt like it needed something. Now, this idea that I'm putting here, now it could go either way. You may like it, you may not like it. So what I did is I put some crates. So I, as you can see, we're gonna fast forward this very soon, but I'm putting some crates over here to kind of make a wall. Now, eventually I do take, I take this out because we actually added a little more stuff on the front and then I didn't need the crate. So everything started feeling a lot better. Okay, so now on the top over here, we're gonna do the same trick that we did for the garden, garden terrace roofing, right? And oh my gosh, and as I added this, that gave me the idea that I can add more garden here. Now that's something that we're gonna work on next. So I need to start, you know, getting the right supplies in this base so we can have all the ingredients that we need to, we can, so we can keep making cake, you know, because cake is so important for breeding. So, okay, so, so this on the top, we're gonna put, uh, the plantation you know we're gonna do another garden area on the top of the roofing so we can get all the wheat that we need you know and we're gonna put two major ones because we need a lot of that okay as you can see over here i took down the, the door i really want to open it now i don't want a door so we're taking down the door we're leaving the opening we adding two walls on the side so now it feels really good we took out the window and when we come over here we continue to add the benches because we're adding kind of like a little railway, you know, and the benches look really good to create this effect right over here. So we're gonna do that once again, just like we did in our previous build video. Now on the corners over here, I ran out of space of the benches. And as you can see, not everything is aligning. So what I was thinking is like, you know what? I'm gonna add the crates over here. I think this will be a really cool thing. And we're gonna put in a little sideway, right? Not perfect, not just straight, just kinda in this little circular motion. And I think this added another flair to the build, you know, because it just adds more realism, you know, and not everything has to be in perfectly placed. So we're doing the same thing on the corners over here. As you can see, again, a little turn. We're gonna do a little turn over here as well. And I, I love this. I think I really like this. Now you can do this with any type of furniture, with any, you can do it with the barrels if you want. Just, just pick something that it really is gonna work for you, you know, in these ideas. Don't forget that you can always change the aesthetic, the design. Uh, you can use all these other stuff for other, other things that you want. You don't have to do exactly what I did here. You can do a whole balcony seating area over here, but I do need more farming, you know, because this is a small base area in my location it's a very popular location right but it's still small you know so this also gives us the space that we actually need to do 
all the gardening that we need without taking the floor space on the bottom. So as you can see, we added two of the big ones. We're gonna add two we feel. At first I added the lettuce, but we end ended up moving the lettuce with the all we feel ones. And then we added two we feels over here and the lettuce on the other side. Okay, so now I did feel like I, need one, I needed something in front of this barn, just right here just right here just kind of like we did for the other building so we need something in the front so again and i really wanted the grass to come and kind of come through through so we kind of elevated it but not too much right because i still kind of wanted to feel like that grass was coming in and as you can see we added two uh two of the storage area of the barrel just to give it a little bit extra something that looks really nice now i brought my cooler over here we're going to pull it on the ranch so that way they can start putting the food inside there be uh that way they don't get spoiled, right? Okay, so now the other thing is this machine. So this machine right over here, I really, I just don't want it to be out. I, 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 I be, I'm being honest, I it just it ruined the aesthetic of what we're going for, but I still want it, right? I still want it out here. So I was thinking, okay, so next to the barn, what we can do, we can do another building, you know, like a big giant uh, shed area or just another room, but. I, I, I really want it to look good, but I, and this was tricky, so, and I want it to be look a little bit different than, than the barn, right? So I went all stone first, and I'm going all around. I could not just fit it just in one single section, so we needed to actually make it a little bit more wider. I really just wanted to use two spaces, you know, and just open the door and bam, you're in front of it. But I could not get the measuring and everything to lie just right, so we actually had to use four squares. So we're gonna put it this kind of more like in the middle, as you can see right here. So we're gonna place it and then we're gonna close it out and then we're gonna have a tall window. Now, this thing is very tall. Now, I did want it to be kind of extended and use the same uh, walkway that we're using toward the barns to go on, to go to this building. I just kind of want it to be kind of like attached, like they kind of belong together. And, but if you actually put this a little lower, then the building won't look as high, but it's okay. You know, so we got this here. So I'm adding all this window because kind of you, I kind of want, you kind of to see through the window and see the beautiful color of the machine, but I don't want the machine to be out there because this is supposed to look like an old school style village area with a shrine, with the buildings, with all the vines hanging everywhere. And it was just gonna take away the feel that I want, but I really want the machine out because that's part of the goal to see how much we can put in this base that it still looks organized, still looks good. Now, as you can see, we added all the stone, but I didn't like it. I just didn't like the feel of all the stone. So what I did is, okay, so we're gonna take part of the stone now. We're gonna add now the wood, right? And I think this actually worked out so much better. And then instead of having a flat roof, what we're going to do is also make a little roof just like this. Now, it's tricky to put the roof right at the edge. Sometimes it will clip just right, but other times I could not get it to work. So the only way I could get it to work was if the roof was hanging from the outside just like right here you see how it clips on the outside and then you can put it on the top and what all you need to do is jump back on the roof and delete the one that's on the side and just bring it back out now if aesthetically you like that and you know it's, it's kind of like a cool idea for all the type of buildings that this is an idea that i do want to do so you know if if you want to see more builds don't forget to kind of hit that like button and subscribe because i do definitely have so much many more ideas of buildings that I do want to create and bases and different styles for this game. Okay, so as you can see, now we got a different roof, uh, a different system, you know, and I like this kind of two-tone going on over here, kind of rock, uh, stone on the bottom, wood on the top. I really like that a lot. And of course, we're going to add a lot of the vines because that's what we're doing around this particular camp area, right? We're adding all these extra vines. It really helps to kind of instead of feel like everything is so flat and the wall is flat the vines and the green kind of bring something into the build right and i'm really enjoying this and i hope and i hope and i hope that they give us more stuff like this vines flowers bushes because we need that right our landscaping is a little bare i will be honest you know we need a little more this game can give us so much more and it just it will feel so great but okay but as you can see i love that you can see through the windows and see the machine but aesthetically it's not there right right and and i really like that and i think it actually came out pretty good now all out here 
this is what's coming up from inside the mart, right? And I love this view when you stand on this little platform over here and look into the landscape. I think it just looks beautiful. So what I did is kind of, you know, I need to make it feel real, like we got safety going on and we're gonna put this uh, rails over here, uh, but they're not actually real, they're, they're, they're the benches, but it's kind of making an illusion like we got a little bit of a fence. And of course, on the two little squares over here, we're gonna add kind of this little bench and our bench and all that. And then eventually I did find out that in higher levels, we're gonna get one particular fence, you know, and it's kind of like a safety fence, it's all metal. So we may eventually come back over here and change that out just to see how I feel, but I really like how it felt. It felt good. Okay, so now the other thing, this is the barn, you know, and I really want some of the pals to sleep in here. So we are gonna do some of the bedding, right? We're gonna add the better bed over here. I really wanted to do the real big one, the blue one, but they don't fit in the squares just like this. And uh, and the more I try and I tried, it just didn't, didn't fit. So what for now, we're gonna do the, the, the little better one, right? This one over here, just a little more comfortable instead of just more the basic one. I got more materials finally. So we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna do it in different sections. And we also gonna add this in the second roofing. And it looks really cool because at night, you know, you got part of them here sleeping and then the other one, they're still sleeping, wrapping around where my home is at because that's kind of they have the first idea. If you watch the first video, you know, and that was kind of something that I really wanted. But now that we have a barn, you know, we want to spread things out. Also, the animals from the ranch can sleep inside the barn. And I really like that feel. Okay, so on the second floor, and we're doing the same thing. We're adding a couple more beddings, as you can see. Two more over there. And then we're going to delete a couple more. So now this over here, I really didn't like where the cooler, I kind of don't like this anymore, the way you see that slanted. Now, you can use it for other stuff if you want to. But what I decided to do is move the cooler bring it back out and we're gonna add a wall over here and then we're gonna add a little bit more. Now, I, I finally can make the fridge, but I still need to work on getting carbon fiber and we need to get a couple of materials. So eventually that's gonna change, but for now, we're still using the small one, but as you can see, we added the wall and then we're gonna have a little dec decoration over here. Just simple enough, you know, I'm not gonna take too much time in decorating, you know, we'll leave that either through stream or through other videos when we decide that we wanna start decorating a little bit more right now it's just to give you an idea and the layout of what this possibility of this build can be right okay so we add a couple of land we got a couple of electricity going on that's why it looks a little brighter in there and now we gotta start adding these vines you know it's the whole concept of the village it's all these vines going through here you know taking over some sections so some sections will look a little more like, like it has a lot more vines other sections just doesn't look as much you know it and this is more to your style right whatever i'm doing maybe you don't like it you know so add the add the vines in the way you like it or maybe no vines at all maybe you like the clean look with no vines you know i'm excited to see how you do this and what's your take you know and when it comes to the vines i already can tell everybody has a different preference you know very heavy put out as many vines as possible all the people are super picky you know and, and it's exciting to see because all of this is all about taste it's about what you like you know and what exactly and how you want to build it you know and i really like that a lot and when it comes to designing and decorating games we all have different tastes we all have a different way to approach a game a build a decoration the items that we like to use you know i got my preference i'm starting to get my favorite stuff in this game that i really like but and then you're gonna have your own favorites right and that's so exciting to see, you know, thank you so much for everybody that's putting, like sharing pictures, sending me DM, uh, keep writing me with advice and tips because all of that helps, right? All of that always helps so much. And as you can see, you know, we just adding a couple more vines over here, just kind of you know, just different places just to see how it feels, you know, maybe uh, if it's too much. Now, the, the one thing with the vines that I can, at least I haven't been able to figure out is how to delete them without to break the wall. The only way I know that we can take down a vine is by kind of deleting the wall. So that's a little bummer. At least if you know how to do it, then let me know. Okay, so something that, that I learned, and thank you so much for everybody in the comments that were writing and letting me know is that this flower pots, right? If you jump in the air or you stand on top of the bench, then you can add them. If you're in the ground, it won't do it. Stand on top. 
you kind of got to be higher than the item that you're trying to place it and then it will play so it's actually a really cool trick thank you so much everybody for letting me know that but as you can see we added we're adding all these flower pots just on the top just to give it a little more greenery just something different to look at you know and i really like how all of this turned out and i love how all the pals just really come over here because they want to help they're so excited right so we're adding a couple chairs over here as you can see we just adding a couple more planters adding a couple more chair just kind of imagining you know i can't wait to keep unlocking more items because as we keep unlocking more items we get more stuff we definitely i mean we definitely more plants we definitely need more flowers so if developers are watching this and listening and, and i know everybody's saying it we need more items you know we, we we're so excited give, give us all the items that you got in craftopia we want them all okay so at this area over here i decided to add kind of like another little break room area we got one on the other building so we're gonna add one over here i really feel like this kind of fits the area you know maybe i'm working we got some friends over you know so out here we're gonna put a little table i think aesthetically it looks really nice you know and i really like the feel with all the barrels and all that i think it really looks good with the barn area and yeah so i really like that so over here we added another flooring because it, the gap looked kind of weird so what i did is just adding another floor over here we're going to add one bench but we can't do the fencing like we've been doing with the benches here so what i'm going to do is in the corners just a little diagonal kind of just facing as you can see just a little curving we're going to add a couple barrels just to create the illusion that you can't just fall right and i really like this like like this little corner here I really like it. Like, it's just one of my favorite things. And I don't know why. It's just, it's kind of like a little alleyway. I don't know. It looks really good. I really like it. Okay. So as you can see, one of the best things to do is I like to stand around like this and make sure like everybody's working, everybody's fitting, nobody's getting stuck. Really love that. And just seeing all the pal utilizing a build that we're doing and using it to the full potential. It's just it's so fun it, it truly is uh, one of the best things about this game is the pals right the way they're they're just doing their thing doing their job whatever you're telling them to do and they do it right it's so great and as you can see we got some big ones we got some medium good size one and then going all the way to the top to water all the way coming down so don't be afraid that if you're trying to imitate this build now if you got real big ones of course they're not gonna work they're just gonna they may get stuck or something like that so always keep in mind when you're working on builds if you're trying to make it more interactive right for the pals so make sure that you always test them out right take that time to see if it's gonna work out or not. All right, so we're adding more vines, more vines on the side over here, because like I said, it's part of the theme. We want this to be fitting in all this area. We add a couple more barrels here and there, you know? I wish we still had more items. It's, it's something that we truly kinda need, but you know, you know, I'm unlocking more, so I can't wait to see what we keep unlocking and see what we keep discovering. All right, so look at that, look at this, look at this. I love these trash bags, oh my gosh. This trash bag looks so good, especially where they're done. All right, so me adding another light over here on the very top. And man, it's, it's just, it's coming out good. So now this is when I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna take all those crates. I don't think we need them anymore. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little barrel on the openings over here and keep it open so we can see more of the ranchy side. Now that we got all these tables and all this front, I really like this framing now. I feels more open, you can breathe more and you can see the animals from far away. I really like it I so much more, you know. Again, it's all preference and now we're here. We're doing the walkthrough one more time. So last time, the rooftop garden right over there on the terrace, you know. But now when we turn and we look towards over here, there we go, we got the barn and we got more gardening on the top. We got the ranch, we got the other building over here. There we can call it a shed or just an extra building, whatever you wanna call it. But look at this. I do feel like we did a good job. I do feel like we got something and it's interactive again. All the pals are going in and out. Look at that, look at that. Look at how they go in, they go out, they go in, they come back in. I really love it, you know? They go to the storage. We got our amazing cooling cat over there, keeping the cooler. So, you know, the food doesn't spoil, you know, we gotta keep it nice. And there's the ranch. And that, that was my dream. That was my dream right here. Just a full flip ranch, just cover. You know, we got we gotta protect our pals. You know, I don't want them in bad weather and, and you know in the sun and, and rain. You know, you know, we're gonna protect them. You know, I, I I love my pals. We got we got we gotta take care of them, right? Okay, and then this is 
I love this view right here. And like I say, I left these big doors opening on purpose, you know, it do, it, they do remind me of a barn, of a branch, right? The big opening doors, and I really like that. So it just felt great. It feels so interactive, and it's a lot easier for the pals to go in and out, and especially for the medium size. So, you know, it, it might be a good idea. So I really like this. And again, of course, we got all the bedding in the first flooring. We also got bedding on the second floor that we're going to see in just a moment. But and then when you walk on the opposite end, look at this. We see our shrine. We see our rooftop garden right over there looking really great that we're going to take another look over there because we did a little changes. So we're going to talk about that. And there's our first home that pretty soon we're gonna rework on that because that was just a starting, but we really need to move it just a little bit and maybe do a little tweaking. So, so you know, stick around. Stick around for future build videos of this area as we get in closer to have so a full flesh base work, working and running, right? Look, look at the top, look, look at that, look at that. You see the wheat, oh, it looks so good. And look at all the planters and again, all the vines, we're going all around, love seeing the crates, all that stuff. And then we have another door over here, you know, and over here, I didn't fully decorate it, like I mentioned before. There are other stuff that I do want to add in this corner, maybe more storage area. Maybe we add a desk, maybe just depending what we keep unlocking, maybe something with color because there's so much brown. Uh, so we'll see what we're going to add out here in the future. But for now, we do have another door opening over here. We got a couple barrels in the floor just to give it a little more something, you know, a little clutter, a little bit of something over here. And then here's our rooftop garden. We're going to go up the ladders over here, still fully functional. Everybody comes over here. They, they can pick up, they can water. So now we got our lettuce farm right over here on the side. We got our tomato right over here. And then now instead of having a, uh, all the berries, we only keep in two now. And then we have a full balcony now. Before, if you watch the video, I had two more berries in the very two corners. But now it's a full fledged balcony. A lot of people wanted to see it that way. So I went ahead, you know, listen to the comments, listen to your feedback and we had to change it. And look at from the, from the balcony over here, from the terrace, it looks so good. I do feel like, like, like the base is coming together. You know, everything's feel uniform. Everything's belonging together. And, and I will say right now, there's still so much because we are going to do something amazing right in the center of the base. You know, we're going to is we're going to tie all this together. Right. Right. It's like we're slowly branching out. We went from the from the house. Oh, and this this is a new add-on right over here. This is where we're keeping our electricity uh, building, you know, uh, our little power generator. You know, we want it there. I didn't want it again aesthetically. I just didn't want to put it on the ground somewhere in the base. I want it to be kind of hidden, but still inside the base. So we did another little building like that. Right. I think it looks amazing. Amazing, you know, but you know, as we continue to build in Power World, and especially on this first base, this first base has a specific theme, you know, it's a little more cozy, a little more warm, you know, a little village style. And look at this, I really love this right here. Loads of trash bags, by the way. Oh my gosh, I just <laughs> I wish we can sit on benches too. It'd be really great to be able to sit on chairs or on the benches. Hopefully, that comes in the future in an update. But then we go up here, as you can see. Everything is functional, like I mentioned before, very interactive. All the pals can go in and out, you know, and that's something that I really, I personally enjoy is seeing all the pals going around the village, right? Just going around, you know? Yeah, it may be, some things may be a little far away, but it's okay, you know, you know? Something that I wanna say, you know, play the way you want, you know, play the game the way you want. Yeah, you can make more optimization. You can make it more closer together so everything is quicker, but I like the aesthetic. I like to build like this, that looks good, that the piles are just going in different direction, you know, and I just love seeing all that movement. So as you can see, this is our other building over here. So again, I just didn't want this to be on the outside and just take away from the feel of the village of the base camp that we're trying to do. So I just put it inside the building and I think this, you know, opens up new ideas, new ways to approach it and I really like it. So, okay, so, and then we go over here. I kind of fixed the little food area for now, but all this is gonna get reworked, all this corner. There, there's still so much to do, I promise. There's still so much to do in this base alone. So I hope that you are, you subscribe, you hit like on that video because I want you to follow this journey so you can get inspiration. But look at this, I just, you know, you know, I just, oh my gosh, I, I just love that the ranch is actually working, functioning. Look at that. Look, look, look at the animals. 
Oh my gosh, and I love that you can see through the range, you can see the view, it looks great right there, and it's just amazing. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you next time. Alright guys, see you later, bye.